What's up guys, it's Rex again with Torch Prep. I am back in the red book doing math questions. I am in test two, problem number 42. So right now, why don't you go ahead, pause the video, open the red book to test two number 42. Read the question, when you're ready, press play. Fantastic, so we need to find the product of these two, mat of these two matrices right here, all right? This is something that if you do not remember how to deal with a matrix at all, what I want you to do is just skip this. But if you remember these rules as you've reviewed for the ACT, we know this is actually not that hard at all. We know that if we're gonna find the product of two matrices, we need to multiply all of the terms and all the columns and rows, and then add the sum of some of those together. But this is incredibly easy, because the two that they've given us, one is just, a, uh, a set of rows and one is just a set of columns. So we can multiply each of these terms together and we're gonna end up having three terms here, three terms there, nine terms total. Let me rewrite this in a way that makes it look a little simpler. And we're gonna find all the terms inside this. You know, I like to think of when we just have columns and rows, this looks a lot like an Excel spreadsheet, something you might be using in computer class. So we have all of our cells in here, all of our rows, and all the columns. So, where's my notebook? Here. What we're gonna do is take each row and multiply each row and multiply it by each column. So first let's take this first column has the number one. If I'm gonna multiply one times a, I'm gonna get a right here. Let's give this new matrix a nice set of brackets and then go down column one to row two. 2a two times one, that's so gonna remain 2a. 3a times one, that's gonna remain 3a. Awesome, we found the first column in this new, the product of these two matrices. Let's go down to the next one. We're gonna multiply each of these rows times this column, zero. Remember the product of anything with zero is going to be zero. This column's pretty simple, isn't it? Zero's all the way down, just like turtles. Now this one is very similar to the first one. I have a negative one times each row. I'm gonna do negative A, negative 2A, and negative 3A for all of these. Now if you look at your answer choices, you'll find this new matrix is answer letter F. Pretty simple. If you have reviewed multiplying the matrices together, you'll be just fine in, in looking for this answer. You know, and if you're looking at the answer choices and you really don't remember all the rules to this, but if we're finding the product, that's what it says in the question, the product of these two things, we know that multiplying zero times anything produces zeros. And you've seen the product of two matrices before. So if you look at the answer choices, F is really the only one with a lot of zeros in it and probably become your best guess in that case. So whether or not you remembered this or needed to take your best guess at the very end of the test, this is a question you can definitely find. If you had trouble with this, review more matrices and our other questions, but great job this time. You can move on to the next question. 